Hi, my name is David and in today's video I'm going to walk you through the process how to prepare your files in Adobe Photoshop when you need to print black and white to realize your design in a textile transfer. At Ghost White Toner, we do manufacture many toner cartridges for different laser printers and you can print with white toner by swapping out the black toner inside your printer by a white toner cartridge. Then everything in black on your screen will print in white. That's fantastic, but it becomes trouble if you need to have black and white in your design at the same time. The best solution around that is to print two times on the desired media. So if you're using transfer media like our popular LaserDark A-Foil and B-Paper or the B-Paper Pro, you will print using the black toner and the color toners first, then reinsert the A-Sheet and print your white layer in the background. This helps with two things. The first thing is it will help with color representation so that you get all the halftones represented correctly by a white underbase. And second, it will help for the glue, the adhesive of the B paper to adhere to the toner because every halftone is backed up by 100% of white. For this, you will need to prepare your file to print in two passes and I will take you to the computer to do that in a minute. But before we do so, let's take a look into the printer. When you open up the printer, you see that we've got the black, cyan, magenta and yellow toner cartridges inside the printer already. That's perfect for color printing. But once you want to print in white, you will swap out the black toner cartridge by a ghost white toner cartridge. Once that one is installed, everything in black will then print in white. So for our design, the first pass that we will print, we will utilize the black toner cartridge. So I'll just make sure that my A-foil is inside my paper tray with the mud side facing up. That's already here. The printer does clean itself every time you swap the toner, so there's nothing for you to do. I have prepared my design here in Adobe Photoshop and as you can see we're printing that design of an eagle and uh, with our loyal typo in the background. The design consists of two basic elements. You can see um, this down here in my layers tab. Um, first we've got of course the typo and we've got the eagle. So I want, of course, the typo to print in white in my final design, but I will need the black toner to get a good representation of the eagle in my design. I want all these half tones and shades of gray. I want these to print in with the black toner. And then I will need a white underbase to get a good representation of all these half tones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my eagle image here. I'm going to make the font invisible. And once I'm on that, I'm going to create a selection by going to selection. And then I'm going to use one of the automated functions, motif or design, and Photoshop will auto select my design. You could do that with the wizard tool um, or with other tools by making a, a manual selection, but the auto functions work quite well. Then I will use the color tool here and I will select my color to be 100% black, darkest black that I can get. And then I will just copy and will, will create a new layer and I will fill my selection with the black. Now I've got three layers. I've got one with my eagle, one with my typo and one with a black layer. If I rearrange these quickly, that's my final design. I can now delete the selection. And now I can create two print files. The first print file will just be the eagle as it was before I created my selection. And the second print file will be the eagle and my loyal print. Because that print will be using the white toner cartridge and that print 
will be using the black and eventually the to color toner cartridges for printing. I will export both as PDF files and then print from the PDF files. Once I have exported my PDF file, I will send the color file to the printer first regarding the print settings. You will use no other print settings than we've shown you in many of our previous videos for printing on the A-foil. You will print in mirror image mode, of course, because it is a transfer. Once my Eagle design comes out of the printer, you can see it's printing in all shades of gray and you can also see below here in the half tones, my hand shines through. That's where the white background will be seen after the second print. So I'm going to reinsert the A-foil and I'm going to swap the toner cartridge by taking out the black toner and putting the white toner back in. As said before, the printer will calibrate itself, it will recognize the white toner and it'll be good to go. To store your spare toner cartridge, I always recommend using the tray that came with it for transport. You just click it in like this and then you should store it either in its box or in a cupboard or somewhere. It should be stored away from light in a cool like room temperature so that it lasts you as long as possible. While the printer calibrates, I just opened my second PDF and I'm sending it to the printer using more or less the same settings. I'm making sure I activate grayscale printing in this case to make sure that we're only using the white toner which sits in the spot of the black toner in the printer. Once the print is out of the printer, you can see our white toner print for our typo, but also when you turn it around, you can see that our Eagle is perfectly backed up with white toner. That will help for the half tones to be represented correctly in the transfer and for the glue of our B Paper Pro to adhere to the print. My heat press is preheated to 160 degrees Celsius. I'll put the A foil down with the printed side facing up and I will cover it with a bead paper to press for two minutes. For details on the process of pressing and printing, please refer to some of our videos on the channel where we are showing all the details on this process. If you like this video, we would appreciate a thumbs up below and also a subscription to our channel. You can activate the bell and you'll get notified when we put out new videos. All the products that I'm using here either the printer or our heat presses and our fantastic transfer media are available in the online shop. The link is in the description below and it will pop up in the video as well. Once the time is up, you can open the heat press and quickly peel the A and B. Once you're done with peeling, you just will quickly cut around the edge of your design and we are ready to apply it to our garment. For today, I've got um, a thick pullover here and I will, as usually, pre-press my garment and thus I will also check um, the pressure on my heat press if I'm having too high or too low pressure for this thick sort of pullover sweatshirt. After pre-pressing I can apply my design to the garment. I will cover everything up with a matte finish paper and then press again for 30 seconds. Once the time is up, I open the heat press and to make sure that we get the good peel of this design, we need to let the design cool down completely. Once you have the design cool to the touch, you can start peeling, fold over the A-foil and peel the design in a rolling motion. Apply some good pressure with the palm of your hands to make sure that you get a nice and clean transfer.
Now we have a fine and nice peel. The design is still a little bit shiny. I'm going to quickly finish it on the heat press using my mud finish paper. Finish pressing is important for the washability of your textile, but it will also give an extra nice soft hand on your design. So you can now seal it and touch it and see that you've got a really great hoodie with a nice design. We really hope this video was helpful for you to see how you can print black and white using two passes on our Big Ghost printer and that you will be able to realize multiple designs. This could be the same for printing a multicolor design and white in two passes. For all the details on the printing process, please check out our other videos. And for today, I say thanks for watching and see you next time.